does collaboration matter? Yeah, Tom Mish, basically. Yeah. He messaged me, yo, do you want to collab? Early days when he was just, he never sang yet or anything like you that. Are. It's so good when it's right because they can just fill the, fill yeah. the things yeah, that you can't do. And if you're good at collaborating, you fall into line. You fall in line mm. depending on what song you're working with. You fall into a role. Yeah. Basically, be on this blind date with someone you don't find attractive, but you just have to, <laughs> like, you don't need to go home with them. You just at least need to pay the bill or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, it's not really, you know, we're not going home together. But, um, That's good cool service. You can pay for my Uber or something. <laughs> Hello. 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 And welcome to another episode of Are We Live with me, Barney. Me, Alpha. Me, Jordan. Welcome. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, a segment and format we call Song and a Question. One of us brings a song, it then follows with a question. It's my week this week. And today's song, guys... It's called uh, Bullet Man by Paris, Texas. Are we about to question the song? Potentially. <laughs> cool. Let's, get, Let's into get into it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and today's question, uh, following that song from Paris, Texas, Bullet Man, is... Does collaboration matter? So I'll give you a bit of a heads up about Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas are two guys uh, from Florida um, in their 30s. And they met uh, in their 20s um, on like forums and stuff. And like met and then started making music together from like the, from that like, 2012 and stuff. And basically over a period of time, they not only collaborated with just those two guys, they also added a, di a director called um, uh, Aus Taylor, who directs all their videos as well. So it's, it's basically, I was hearing them talk a little bit and they were talking about the idea of collaboration and accountability. So I suppose what I was going to speak to you guys is about like having a team, having someone that you create with, having a partnership that you create with, does it matter? Um, I know you guys, everyone's kind of a solo <laughs> artist here what does that collaboration mean to you in regards to that context? Because um, I think on my side of things, moving to Switzerland, I've met a guy called Miles, and me and him collaborate quite frequently, and that kind of kept me going mm. um, in that essence. So that's kind of my angle on it. It's about collaboration <clears throat> and accountability as artists and creatives in general. Is it important? So one question I have is, within that group, do you know what their specific roles are? Do you know what yeah, they so they kind of, both of them rap, both of them are rappers. Both of them rap and then both of them... Both produce. of them produce as well. Yeah. But you don't know any further than that? No, yeah, I don't know too mean. much. Yeah, I don't know about, about them specifically, but I think it's more so to open it up. It's not about them specifically, it's more so to open up about the conversation. Yeah, no, the rap. reason I'm asking that is, mm. uh, you're saying, does it matter? Mm. I think if everyone's got a different function, it matters. But if everyone can do the same thing, it doesn't really matter that much. Hmm. What's, what's the same thing? Do you not find that the same thing was always going to be different regardless of the voice. As in, I can rap and you can rap, but it's going to sound different because we're both different people. Yeah, but the function's still rapping. Like, again, I see, I view rapping <clears throat> as like a function in a song, basically. The same mm -hmm. way I view, okay, we've both played keys. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And now we're going we're to make this duo album. We both play keys. For some reason, people will view two rappers completely differently the way they view two piano players you feel like they're both doing the same role so maybe that's not as necessary mm -hmm. like maybe they don't all have their own voices mm -hmm. I think everyone's got their own voice but I just see the rapping vocal function the same way I see two bass players mm -hmm. two drummers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it can work I've literally I've heard an album um with three bass players mm -hmm. like a bass trio <laughs> like three bass players and they've made an album and they've collaborated mm -hmm. and that's what the album is so it's not impossible, but is it necessary? Not really. Um, but if everyone does different things, especially for the project, if mm. everyone's pulling out a different part of themselves for this pro specific project, then I think um, it definitely matters if you're going to exist with other people. You need to coexist. Mm. You can't just be 100% of yourself in a collaborative, a collaborative situation because 
then you're just dictating mm. the situation, right? Because mm. for you to be 100% of yourself, you're diminishing someone else's. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I think anyway. Do you think <clears throat> people can be two people or three people or four people doing roughly like similar things? Or say, let's say four producers mm. can be 100% themselves and collaborate on a song. Impossible. No, yeah. Yeah, impossible. No. So I see your point in that, yeah, exactly. in that way. Mm -hmm. Too many cooks. It. Is it like too many cooks, essentially? Is it kind of like the idea of That's like... probably where too many cooks There always needs to be yeah. some sort of established leader. Mm. Or like there somehow always ends up being someone driving it a bit more than the others. How do you guys find leadership? As in, would you say, I suppose you guys are solo entities? Like one, how do you... that? Do you guys see yourselves as leaders? And like what problems and it's, what do you find easy about it and what, what do you find difficult about being mm. leaders in your own space? Because I suppose Jordan Rakai, Alpha Miss, Barney Artist are the leading entity of the situation and the parameters. But I suppose like in the creation process, yeah, there has to be roles, I suppose. And yeah. do you find... Yeah, you know, it's difficult? funny, like especially collaborating with different types of people, those roles get murky like you're working with an upcoming artist who really is the leader. It's mm. their ah, music. However, they're coming to me. Maybe I'm a bit more experienced as a producer mm. and they sort of lack confidence and they're like, I'm the leader, but mm. it's like, you know, all of it should be driven by the artist, in my opinion. And you're sort of helping guide their vision. Um, and so it's tricky. But then obviously if you work with someone higher than you, like you are just a cog in their big mission in their wheel mm. um so when it's when you're a producer like i worked on my album and I, i'm obviously the artist so but there was like seven different people in the room and they are like alpha was saying have different roles they all play different instrument but a lot of them like produce as well um well you know like they write and stuff mm -hmm. so they were we sort of had this collective um we would have these like you do a live take and you sort of have these discussions mm -hmm. But there was a clear, they all understood, not that I ever said it, but Jordan's in control sort of thing. Do you like that? Um, I don't like, it's funny, I talk it's, I talk about this, I've talked about this with my brother who's successful in the construction industry and he's the hard-ass method of a leader and I'm like an empowerer, um, <laughs> collaborate, like a, I want to lift everyone up and mm. well, that's, that's the goal. And so when it gets a bit like contentious in a studio where the drummer wants something, but that guy doesn't think it's a good idea. It sort of is your role then to, kind to of be like, no, I think we should go to the bridge and do this. And I don't like those scenarios, but right. it very rarely happens. Cause like the people in that room, usually you've put there because you know that you can collaborate. Well yeah. With them. And it's like, everyone's like open. It's op open-minded. Mm. Like you can collaborate with people that are so like Arthur was saying, just hundred percent themselves, mm. and it's quite hard to make any ground. You suggest something, they're like, "Not like that." Yeah. You suggest something else, they're like, "No, I like it like this." Mm -hmm. And you're sort of like, "What's what am I? What is my role? What, am, like, I what am I bringing to this?" Yeah. So those sessions are hard, but collaboration <laughs> is um, it's so good when it's right because they can just fill the fill yeah. the things yeah, that you can't do. Lacking. But what does it mean to be right though? That's the thing <clears> I'm <throat> thinking about. I was just thinking about a scenario where you was talking of like a. Let's say you've got a neoclassical piano synth person that mm. sort of just, none of their things ever have any drums or anything like that. It's just acoustic and that's the completion of their music. It's just loads of pianos, loads of synths, like, and they just build sound wall after sound wall, yeah? Then you've got, like, say, a drummer that he only releases solo drum things. That's all he, that's all he does. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the peak of his creativity. Mm to just do drum based things, grooves and blah, blah, blah. You put those two in a room, they can be a hundred percent of themselves yeah, true, like, yeah. and not interfere with the other. So then maybe they'd come up, they'd, they'd at least be able to enjoy the session um, to the fullest. Maybe, I don't know what the music would come out with because obviously there's no element of you in the stuff I like doing and the stuff I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you I'm know what trust, I mean? I'm just trusting that, yeah, I'm I just get like, you. So yeah. when, when me and Emma V made Epoch in like 2014, Emma V's a producer and a singer, a ranger, all of this stuff. But for that project, she handled all the vocals and a lot of the writing and things like that. I may have chimed in with a word or two here, but for the most part, 
harmony arrangements, all the stuff that I don't really do or I just didn't do for that project. 100% of that side was MFVs. And me, I was focused on the sound, the beats, the grooves, blah, blah, blah. Like I was like, let me change time signature here. I didn't ask. I didn't mm. go, is it cool if we do? I just made it as <clears> if I was making it for myself. And then I was like, okay, now you do whatever you want to it. And I'm not going to question mm. stuff that you've done. We can talk about it, but ultimately you're the, you, this is your domain, mm. vocals. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And, and arrangement <clears> and things like that. So... I feel like with that, I feel much better than in a situation where I have to hold back and kind of go, okay, cool. But then the thing is, it's clarity in it. When you're collaborating, if you know what you're going in Mm. for or you're going in as, Mm. like today I might be someone that's just instructed to give my opinion every now and again on how things sound. I might just be coming in as a piano player to just listen to what you want me to do and then just do that. Or I might be coming in as a producer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. But if you don't know that, like if you're, I don't know, man, if you're meeting a producer you met online or something, it's just like, hey, let's collab. I always tell um, the story about when Tom messaged me on SoundCloud back in the early days. Yeah, Tom Mish, basically. <laughs> yeah. He messaged me, yo, do you, you want to collab? Early days when he was just, he never sang yet or anything like you that. No. He was just making, <laughs> he was just making beats the same way I was making beats. And I was like, Looked at, looked at the message and I would listen to his music and I was like, we literally both make beats. So what you say? What are you also, talking so it's about? Also, <laughs> was it also like, you don't need me. I, I have yeah, nothing yeah. to add to what you want. Mm. Right I, have, I have nothing to add to what you're doing. Yeah. You have nothing to, to add, add to, what I'm, to what I'm doing. We both make beats. That's what we do. Yeah. Like, I didn't understand the concept. And to be honest, I still don't really <laughs> get the concept of... Like, I do get it, but I only get it as in, like, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. I, the question is, is it necessary? Yeah. It's definitely not necessary, in my opinion. Right. But, but is, is it, like, but good is that to because do, is, sharpens? Yeah, but is that because, like, you guys is, I mean, you specifically, your solo music is very much a dictatorship? Well, I wouldn't mean, call it a dictatorship. Okay, that's a very, do you know what I mean? What do you actually mean? <laughs> what I mean it's like, is, that's, 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 no, as in, like, yeah, like, <laughs> any, any opinions on your music, for example, you've allowed, you allow, you got, you don't ask, like, if I ask you, then, then you can give it to me, but you don't want, uh, you're very clear on what, like, so for example, when you work with MV, for example, on that joint project, that's a joint project, that's your part. But when it's your solo thing on your own, there's no one that you're collaborating with at that level who has the same say as you. Like, there's no one at that point where you bounce off ideas of, you're the boss. That, you're the, you're, I've brought these songs, I've made these songs, I'm bringing these songs for you guys to play. These are the premises where you can freestyle and improvise on these bits, but it doesn't affect the top layer of the, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, yes and no, because mm. the same way the Tom, me and MV would it was a collaboration. The me and Tom thing would 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 be a collaboration. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it wouldn't be anything to do with my solo stuff anyway. Yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying with your number one now with your solos. Yeah, I, yeah, let me, yeah. So let me explain. I think like with my stuff now, with me working with Miles, for example, yeah. I've had to kind of like hand over the keys in regards to like conversations. Like say, hey, okay, Mr. Dukes and Barney artist, for example, it's not exactly the same as you working with MV. We both have say on Both sides. either side. So like I have say on production, he might have say on words and flows on some of the things that I'm doing. And I think I found that to be super like, luckily it worked because like we, I found that comfortability there where it felt like, you know, um, but I suppose that's where it's different because it's not like both of us kind of go off on our corners and then come back and make something. It's kind of like, I mean, with the MV stuff, it was me and her, for Epoch anyway, we were both sitting in the same room yeah. and doing it. It's just, and we both had a say, but the point is that we both roles. knew whose yeah. domain yeah, roles. Right. we're speaking in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I can say something about her vocals and her, or her harmony, right. but I know that I'm speaking in MV land yeah. right now. Yeah, do you know yeah. What I mean? and do you know what's crazy about that, that roles thing is because I have the empowering thing or even the assistant engineer can suggest something after a couple of days like I'm trying to make everyone feel comfortable I've now learnt with that um, like f- freedom for them to express themselves I have to learn when they do say something that I don't agree with I have to know how to say no mm. sort of thing because they start, they did they everyone just starts saying Jordan yes. your vocal could go, or you know or that guitar part should be muted or, and I'm sitting there thinking like 
not sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. everyone's yeah. sort of maybe gotten too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say. Yeah. yeah. But but I've opened that door, and you have to then. I then have to learn how to say no, no. I like the guitar. I'm keeping it, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um. So it's a good way. Whereas the my brother's style of being a boss, the whole like everyone's in fear method, might work well for like I've heard stories about a famous UK producer. And it's very much like a militant, like, no, you're going to sit there and play that loop for two hours until wow. you get the right loop. And then they'll get it. And like Steely Dan, this band from the 80s, 70s and 80s used to do that. They used to like, if that drummer doesn't get it in an hour, that he's fired. Like, we want this exact like part done exactly. And um, to your point about the Tom Mish thing, I have this a lot with like, you know, some one of my favorite artists, Matt Corby. He plays keys, he plays guitar, he sings. He's also from this, we grew up in the same country. And like, I'm like, he can do anything that I want to do. He doesn't need me in a collab. Um, And I've always put that off, even though I obviously love to work with him, but I just don't want to, partly because of like, I can't, partly the confidence thing, like, oh no, you can get it. Partly because, like, he, you know, I'll suggest a keys part. I'm thinking in my mind, oh, he's a better keys player than me. He can just do this. Or, like, I'll my play not, guitar. I suppose, is it about better? No, no, but it's a confidence thing, though. Like, you know, if Alpha wants to have a collaboration with one of his idols, well, he might be a songwriter of a different instrument. Maybe that's fine, but like a keys player. Mm. Like, like him doing I would a, be, I'm with, with Herbie. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's where it's. You probably be self conscious at times. I'm like, Herbie should just play that. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. It depends. Like, you have to. You eventually, in collaboration, if you're good at collaborating, you fall into line. You fall in line, mm. depending on what song you're working with. You fall into a role. Yeah. For that song you're doing, no matter what, even if everyone can do everything, it's like, okay, cool. But for this song, like, if I was playing with Herbie, which would be obviously crazy, <laughs> I'd be like. I'm going to hold stuff down. Maybe I'll do some stuff. Like he'll understand everything I'm doing. I'm not going to be doing anything he hasn't heard before. But if I'm holding something down that he can play over, then that could work as a collaboration. But again, I've sort of like compressed myself or like just gone, okay, cool. I'm going to be the pad out keys guy Mm. for this song. Mm. Um, Just so we make a song that works. I mean, I've seen piano duos where they're both just going crazy at yeah. the same time and that yeah. works as a mm. collaboration as well. So it's not that, but I guess naturally <clears throat> what I do is fall into a role in collaboration. Maybe that's why collaboration isn't as enjoyable for me mm. because I'm constantly like, well... Conscious Because you do it well. The you, room. Yeah, you want to bring yourself down to make sure... It's about, it's about the song. Yeah, it's, it's not, not really like me being... It's not really like having a role and that other person has a role. It's more like... I think it's inter- more interesting when no one, where we're all on uneven ground, basically. Mm. And it's like, oh, that, what do we do? How do we step there? Like, that's more like exciting to me. So like, I don't know what we're doing. Whereas yeah. if we're in a situation where, okay, I know this pretty well, let me handle this. And it makes sense for you to handle that because you do that. Yeah. That's cool. But again, I'm not really yeah. in music Doesn't, like, to fit in. Like, excite you to that fit way. Do you a, have Do you have you know any... Do you have any advice on collaboration? Like, what would you say? So, like, for me, for example, I think one thing I learned about collaboration is, like, yeah, it's what you're talking about is it's ego. And sometimes you have to let your ego, like, it's about the, the song. It's about the music. It's about what does it need. And I think, like, like anything, it's, like, you have to fill in the gaps of what the sing- like I look at it like a pie chart. And, like, if somebody's ha- handling the 30% of this, you can't then kind of add the same 30%. It doesn't make any sense to the song. You've got to add another 30 to the other start side of the thing and then it kind of fills it up to make the whole yeah. um, rather than approach and trying to do exactly what they're doing because it's already been fulfilled. Yeah, it depends what you're trying to do, basically. Are you collaborating for the feeling of connecting with We're someone in, in the studio? Because like some people, so, so for example, there'll be some musicians that like to jam, like improvise, basically. Mm-hmm. For the sake of it, not, this is not, oh, let's record this and put, it, put this on a CD somewhere. Mm. There's countless jam nights, like Olo Lund, for example, where they'll just go in and play like jazz standards or whatever it is, or just jam and make something up on the spot. You're doing that for the connection of playing in the moment mm. and just that's where you're having fun. But in a collaboration where you're trying to make a song or whatever, I think it's like, what makes this song better? What improves the song? A lot of people go into collaboration just to 
yes. collaborate or just to <clears throat> maybe have fun in the studio. Mm. But like, mm. they don't think about oh, the outcome of the song mm. is the only thing that matters. Because if they mm. thought like that, then they'd, you know, rein it in or compromise like- Compromise more or whatever. Compromise more or like, come out of themselves more when it's needed for the sake of the song, not for the sake of us. Mm. It's almost like working together for a higher power sort of yeah, so for yeah, a bigger, yeah. bigger goal sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Th- so. um, your point about roles is a good advice for collabs. But um, another thing I think is you can sort of tell quite quickly if things aren't like going well, mm. um, or at least like I've been in a couple of those days where it's like, oh, this is really slow or that person's quite stubborn. And like, I find it better on those days rather than to just give up and cave. It's sort of to more embrace the, what Alpha was just saying of like, let's just finish this day and this song, I'm now a method actor mm. in this song rather than like, you know, cause you can make a song and they never have to come out. It's, yeah. just, it's just good practice to basically be on this blind date with someone you don't find attractive, but you just have to <laughs> Like, you don't need to go home with them. You just need to, need to pay the bill or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not really, you know, we're not going home together. But, um, That's got service. You can pay for my Uber or something. Um, but yeah, like, it, sometimes it's okay to just be like, okay, you know, this person really doesn't like these f- four or five ideas in a row I've suggested. So I'm really just going to follow their lead and like, we'll just end, you know, well, let's, let's see this idea out. Yeah. And then like, it just... It can just, it's just literally a waveform that exists yeah, in the, it's, 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 it's not a failure. It's not, yeah, and it's not the... It's a success to be in a room with a stranger, like, you Spot know. On. Okay, and, well... Know, eating food and talking about life. <laughs> Tons of that. <laughs> um, so, I suppose the question is, does, collab- does co- collaboration matter? Yeah, is it necessary? Yeah, is it necessary, sorry? Is it necessary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> necessary, no. Yeah. But actually, no, in some form... Yes, yes, but it just depends. Not on equal footing. That's not necessary. Great. Yeah. Well, over to you guys in the comments. Thank you guys for joining us for another episode. The question is, is collaboration necessary? Does it matter? Jump in the comments. I want to hear what you're going to say, man. We're going to see you on the next episode. Thanks a lot. Peace. Peace.